It's few hours to the APC primary governorship election in Ondo State, and aspirants are putting finishing touches to their preparations. Earlier this week, seven out of 16 governorship aspirants petitioned the National Secretariat of the party, complaining about um, some anomalies observed ahead of the exercise. The aspirants faulted the revalidation of the membership register to be used for the primary election. They alleged that a particular aspirant has gone ahead with massive printing of fake party slips, which they claim has been distributed to lots of persons, including um, people who are not party members. They ask the leadership of the party to make available membership register already validly certified by INEC as the only lawful register to be used by the party for the conduct of the election. Let's talk to Ayodeji Muradio, who is standing by with updates um, in Ondo State. We'll get back to him shortly. Perhaps we should begin with social commentator and convener, Renewed Hope Media, Unio Lalekon. Mr. Lalekon, thank you for joining us on the program. Let's begin with the purported suspension of the APC National Chairman and what feelers you're hearing about uh, the impact of that on the exercise tomorrow. Mr. Lalekon. Mr. Lalekon, are there concerns in Ondo about the purported suspension of the APC national chairman and how that potentially affects the exercise tomorrow? We'll get back to Mr. Olalikon um, in the course of this program. Let's take a short break and then we'll be back. Stay with us, everyone. Experience information and entertainment like never before as TVC Breakfast takes your weekends to a whole new level. Introducing TVC Breakfast Weekend Edition, your ultimate source of thrilling sports updates, insightful political analysis and captivating entertainment news. Stay in the know with what's trending, catch up with the latest in sports and immerse yourself in the latest buzz from the world of music and movies. Your weekends are no longer just days off, but moments packed with knowledge, excitement, and enjoyment. TVC Breakfast Weekend Edition, only on TVC News. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked, and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. It's the story that calls. At other times, the people just want to be heard. Their voices were echoing through time itself. We haven't done anything. If the, the tide is high, everybody run for safety. Their tears leave a sweet, sour taste for all. Their demands, a familiar call beckoning for change. In our world, no one expects a disaster to happen. But when it does, we'll be there to x-ray all sides, from the east to the west, north and south. Community Forum will examine the oddities and challenges to economic development, as well as issues yearning for government intervention. Watch fresh episodes of Community Forum on Sundays by 9.30 p.m. only on TVC News.
Your water in beyond 100 days. Our attention is turned to Undo State ahead of the APC primary election. Senior reporter Ayo Deji Maradio has been monitoring events leading to the exercise tomorrow. He joins me live from Akure. What's the preparation like ahead of APC's primary election tomorrow? Okay, Nifemi, let me tell you that we have 16 aspirants jostling for this exalted seat. Uh, one of them is the incumbent governor, Governor Lucky Aye Datiwa. All these aspirants have moved around the 203 wards, uh, 18 local government areas of the state, to talk to party members on the need to support them. After they've done this, tomorrow, on Saturday, they will all file out and for option A4 system, where they will all file out behind the aspirant of their choice. So that is going to be the situation in Ondo State. We are expecting the committee that will conduct the primary headed by the governor of Kogi State, Ahmed Ududu. Uh, the secretary of the committee is also being expected in the state so that they can prepare ahead for the uh, primary election. So far, so good. Uh, all the aspirants are ready for uh, the contest. Ayo, how is the APC in Undo reacting to the purported suspension of the national chairman and talks about how it may affect the exercise tomorrow? Nifemi, uh, the question you asked me, I, uh, the, the, the audio is too low, and I can only tell you that I had purported but I don't know what you are trying to ask me. But let me tell you that some people were arrested. To be specific, two persons were arrested in Ondo Township uh, for doing fake registration for members of the party. I don't know if that is what you're asking me, but that was what happened. And the police in the state have arrested these people. They are currently investigating the matter to get to the root. Absolutely. We probably we continue this conversation w when we can hear each other. Thank you, Ayodeji Muradio, for the updates there from Mundo State Capital as we count down to APC's um, you, governorship primary election in that part of the country. 16 aspirants jostling for a single seat, including the incumbent governor. And um, just a few days earlier, seven out of the 16 aspirants raised concerns about, um, you know, purported mob practice on the part of one of them. Uh, we'll wait to see how the National Secretariat of the party reacted to that. The Kogi State Governor um, did not attend in person the inauguration of that committee. He sent his Deputy Governor, and everyone is also expecting the arrival of that committee in Ondo State. But let's turn to another observer in this exercise, um, who's also a journalist and social commentator, is Convener Renewed Hope Media, Oni Olalikon. Mr. Olalikon, uh, what are the feelers you are hearing, particularly as regards concerns raised by some seven aspirants who have petitioned the National Secretariat of the APC over what they call revalidation of the membership register? I'm asking what... Um, what the fillers are as regards uh, petition written um, to the National Secretariat by some of the aspirants over the revalidation of the membership register. How much impact is that having on this exercise? Well, we have terrible um, connection, but it's a live show, you know. Um, they have alleged, uh, for instance, um, I spoke with one of them yesterday, um, who did allege that uh, a particular aspirant has gone ahead uh, with massive printing of fake party slips, which the claim has been distributed to persons uh, who are not even party members. Huge allegations um, ahead of this exercise, uh, but many of them are still saying that they have confidence in the capacity of the APC to hold 
a free and fair exercise. Just following um, the exercise in Edo State, you know how that went and how the party was able to resolve um, the division that followed that particular exercise. We see um, all of the factions coming together in Edo, and we're also looking forward to see how it will play out in Ondo this time. There are talks about, you know, some gentlemen arrangement and agreement prior exercises of this nature where people step down for one another we're waiting carefully to see if that would happen also ahead of this exercise i spoke with um, bola ilori yesterday about the arrest uh, that our senior reporter mentioned earlier made by the police of an individual registering apc members at his residence and it's been a case of um, counter allegations and counter allegations among some of these aspirants well my executive editor has come to the rescue <laughs> Kayo de Lade, de. Uh, thank you for joining me on the program oh, it's a pleasure I, I thought you should be in Akure you know <laughs> absolutely I should <laughs> you know we are we are looking forward to yet another exercise there are two staggered um, governorship elections this year and we saw what play out with many of the parties in Edo you know, it's happened again you now where, you know, you hear allegations here and there. But do you think that APC would have learned its lessons in Edo to fine-tune its processes ahead of tomorrow's exercise? Yeah, Nifemi, I think it's about, um, I think I listened to one of the interviews you did yesterday. Yeah. Yes, uh, with the former enemy Enemy president, president yes, it was who, yesterday. Who openly said it's comfortable mm. with the process of option A4 because... Um, being a political reporter and political journalist, uh, trust me, um, the two options, you know, there are about three in mm. their constitution, that's the APC constitution, where you have the delegate style of one, then you have the option A4, then you can have the two together. But having said that, I, I, I tend to prefer the delegate kind of uh, primaries, mm. where the numbers are determined, you can count the number of people, but this direct... Uh, primary that is seems to be the, 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 the main thing. That's what they've been using in the last three, four, five years now. Uh, I have some issues with it, uh, with the process. I have some issues with um, the numbers that are being churned out. They look, they look not too verifiable in terms of the process. But if the, all the aspirants said they are comfortable with that, they only want it to be very transparent, uh, I don't know how they would determine that. Mm. I do not see INEC, you know, being in all the words to supervise or monitor the election. But if it is a delegate system where the INEC officials are there, they can monitor the process, they can see the whole stuff, that makes it easier. But TVC probably will do the job of an umpire too because we're going to be following the process, mm. every nooks and crannies of it. We are going to see that uh, the process is a judge free and fair. Absolutely. And we are going to report what we see. Mm. We're not going to report what they say, but what we see. And they can tune into TVC for in-depth um, uh, 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 analysis of everything that is going on. But having said that, I, I, I feel what the position should be concerned about is what happens after the primaries. Mm. Are we going to see the 15 other aspirants kill behind the winner? Or are we going to see the 15 others going to join some waiting parties who, because that's what happens about eight years ago, where we had the likes of Olusha Laoke, mm. you know, who actually joined uh, another party. So that is what APC should be looking at. I, I, I'm not really expecting any surprise per se mm. tomorrow, but what happens to APC after the primaries? Absolutely. And it's a very special one because um, there are the other 15 candidates, I mean, aspirants are frantically after the incumbent governor. Usually, you know, you can tell uh, which way it will go when an incumbent is in a primary election. But this one is a little bit different. Except uh, mm. in Lagos, you know, there yes, was a drama like that course. when the incumbent lost. Lost. Uh, <laughs> and I think for that one, the writing was clear on the wall as well. <laughs> Let's get back to... O'Neill uh, Olaliko. Mr. Olaliko, walk us through what the mood is like in Akure ahead of this exercise tomorrow. And what are you learning so far? Well, um, so far, Akure is peaceful. Undo State is calm. Everybody is going about their normal businesses and everything is going on well. As regards the primary election of the APC tomorrow, party members are ready. 
and also, you know, from uh, the grapevine, we had that the electoral committee are in town already, and they're also ready, they're also prepared, and people are ready to go out to their various wards across the 203 wards in the 18 local government areas tomorrow to cast their vote as uh, party members for, their, for the aspirants of their choice. So as it is presently, there is no cause for alarm. I'm sure you are following reaction from some seven aspirants who have petitioned the secretariat of the party. Um, what's the update with that? And how much assurance can you feel within these aspirants in the party's capacity to conduct a credible exercise? Well, I think that petition has to do with the revalidation exercise that took place some, uh, some days ago, I think last week. And the seven aspirants complained that the revalidation exercise there were some irregularities in the numbers of the uh, party members or, or that were submitted. In fact, if you look at some of these, uh, if you look at uh, uh, the document, you will see that uh, even some words in some local governments has zero party members. And, you know, people have been wondering that how possible is that some of these words in some of these local governments has just two APC party members which is not possible. You know, APC is the ruling party in the state and has been in government since 2016. So how can you say, I've won two successive elections, so how possible is it that we have some words in, 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 the, in the state where you don't have APC members? And these were some of the things that the seven aspirants, you know, premised their petitions on. And that has been forwarded to the, uh, to the National Secretariat and I'm sure that the party would do something about it. Having said that, the National Secretariat has the register, the, the, the register of the registration that was done in, in 2021. And I know that that's what the National Secretariat and the Electoral Committee, the primary electoral committee, mm. would definitely work on tomorrow. Social commentator, convener, renewed hope media, Oni Olalekon, thank you so much for talking to us. You know, earlier we were talking about the, the direct form of primaries. We have seen the governor campaign like it's election time. I mean, I <laughs> probably haven't seen an incumbent governor campaign that way. But what do you see happen? You know, you, you're talking about post-primary reality for Undo State. Do you see all these agreed parties having the capacity to queue behind whoever, you know, wins tomorrow? I, 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 it's just sounding like, um, I'm sure you won't like this example I'm going to give. It's just like um, when you see the way Man City and Real Madrid were playing. <laughs> you can almost guess that um, mm. which the two teams were playing were mm. like, this is the final, the yeah, final. Mm. So to a large extent, APC, it's very lucky this time around. The opposition seems to have gone to sleep. And the governor's the name is Lucky, by the way. Huh? I said the governor's name is Lucky, by the way. I, I would know. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, yes. So uh. to, to a large extent, he knows the real battle mm. is at the primary. Absolutely. So, But having said that, don't forget, that what happens to other 15 aspirants is what I'm very, very particular about. Are this one going to be in the waiting hands of another party? And you know that when it comes to the party constitution, this person's ought to have spent minimum of six months or thereabout. But trust me, these parties are ready to give a waiver to some of these aspirants. To some of these aspirants, trust me, the Nigerian politicians or politicians at large always have a plan B on how to, you know, think of how they want to go about it because I was expecting a lot of aspirants, yeah. you know, to throw in the tower so at this time. By now. So for them to still stay in the race, yeah. trust me, it's a primary to watch out for. Well, a few hours is a long time in politics. Anything can happen before tomorrow morning. That's true. Executive editor, the prestigious Stevenson News. <laughs> Thank you for talking to us. It's a privilege. <laughs>